Sometimes we are very familiar to find out the magnitude of the magnetic force, which is quite easy to do. But finding the direction of the magnetic force becomes quite challenging for a charged particle in a magnetic field. How do we find out? We can find out the direction of magnetic force by using a right hand rule. Before talking about the right hand rule, let's go back and see what is the equation for the magnetic force. The magnetic force is given by this formula here, Fb, and this is a vector, Qv cross B, and this is pronounced as V cross B, and this is the cross product. And it is given by QVB sine theta and n vector here. This is a magnitude of the force. This term here is the magnitude and this is the direction. Finding the magnitude, we simply just take QVB sine theta and multiply, you'll get the magnitude, not a problem at all. And now, if, if we have to find out the direction, then we're going to use the right hand rule. Or in more general way, this more general way, if you have two vectors, A cross B vector, then the magnitude of A cross B is given by this equation here. AB sine theta is the magnitude. And this tells you the direction. Okay. So here we only talk about the direction here. So how do we find out the direction? So in order to find out the direction, you have to use your right hand. Remember, right hand, not the left hand, right hand. And you have to align the middle, uh, the middle finger, index finger, and thumb in such a way that are mutually perpendicular. So here is the diagram here. You have to align your finger this way, okay? Mutually perpendicular. You can see in this one. And now, you're, if, you, if you're trying to find out A cross B, if you're trying to find out A cross B direction, then your index finger has to align in the direction of A vector. Your middle finger will be in the direction of B vector. Then, your thumb will point out in the direction of A cross B vector. Okay, so this gives you the direction of n vector. So the similarly, if I'm trying to find out the magnetic force, which is F equals to this vector here, Q V cross B vector, then my index finger will be in the direction of the velocity. So here, this is my index finger. In fact, this is my hand. So this is the index finger, which is pointing towards the velocity and this gives you the direction of the magnetic field my middle finger and in that case my thumb is pointing out the direction of the force okay so this is called the right hand rule and this so you have to practice these things and the other rule is the palm rule palm what does this palm rule tell you so lie down your palm, then your fingers, all these fingers, gives you the direction of the magnetic field, or it has to be aligned in the direction of the magnetic field, and your thumb points out in the direction of the velocity. Here, your thumb is pointing towards the direction of the velocity, then perpendicular to this palm gives you the direction of the force, okay? So, lie down your palm, that your thumb should point out in the direction of the velocity, your fingers, your four fingers, in the direction of the magnetic field, then perpendicular to your palm gives you the direction of the force. Okay. And the other rule is curl. That's called the curl rule. So now let's say the charged particle is moving in this direction. So 
So this is the charged particle motion. So first thing we have to do, you have to have your fingers point along the direction of the, the velocity. And this is the magnetic field. Then you have to curl from first, you have to align your four fingers, these four fingers in the direction in which charge is moving. And then you have to curl, you have to curl your finger in the direction of the magnetic field. So here, if this is the, the magnetic field, then you have to curl your finger. I'm curling my finger here. Then my thumb points out again the direction of the force. So here. So this is another way of finding out. Okay. All right. So these four techniques are used to find out the, the direction of the magnetic force. So far, all this direction, all these directions are for the positive charge only. Remember, everything here that I've said here, this is for the positive charge only. Positive charge only. What happens if you have a negative charge, just like an electron? If you have a negative charge, just like an electron, then the direction of the force would be opposite to the direction. Now let's say this is for the positive charge and if it is for the negative charge then in fact the force should have has to be in the opposite direction. So do exactly the right hand rule whatever the direction it is for the positive charge. In, in your case if it is negative charge then the direction has to be opposite. So everything has been mentioned here. It applies for positive charge only. If it is negative charge then it has to be opposite direction. So this is it for finding out the direction of a magnetic force using right hand rule. Again, if you have any questions, write down your questions in the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe the channel.